All right, so the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect is when a large majority of people remember something differently than it actually is here. Let me give you a quick example. A lot of people remember Pikachu's tail having black stripes, but in reality, it doesn't. Like, I can't be the only one who grew up thinking his tail was black. Another example, a lot of people remember Tony the Tiger's nose to be black because that just kind of makes sense, but it is actually blue for some reason. Maybe if you grew up like eating frosted flakes on the daily, you might know this, but me personally, I mean, what's a tiger doing with a blue nose? Next up, we have the Looney Tunes logo. It is actually Looney Tunes, like T-U-N-E-S, not T-O-O-N-S. I can actually relate to this with this channel's name being Wolf Tunes YT. A lot of people get it mixed up when trying to look for this channel, and there's nothing I can really do about it because I'm using this name that I made when I was like 10 years old, my old school gamer tag, and there's really nothing going back with that. It's not T-U-N-E-S. I don't make any music, but I don't know why it's called Tunes, because I'm not making any cartoons. But yeah, let's just move on. A lot of people remember the Monopoly man having this glasses monocle, but he actually doesn't. Maybe our memory is just getting that bad. Like, I'm too young to have dementia. Like, what is going on? How'd my brain turn into mashed potatoes all of a sudden? Next up, we have Curious George and his tail. Now, I've always remembered Curious George having a tail because that makes sense. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but from my scientific research, monkeys have tails. But in the cartoon, Curious George is never depicted with a tail. Next up, we got this interview where this baseball player pretty much saves the life of this reporter. I mean, that's just crazy. This video went pretty viral just because of how cool it was. But the strange part is that a lot of people remembered it being an entirely different reporter doing this interview. A lot of internet users even took it to their AI and asked them about this video. And they've all pointed to reporter Emily Austin doing this interview. And this is just a really weird example of the Mandela effect. Out of all of them, this one just feels the most mysterious. Like, we need the Scooby-Doo gang on this one. Like, what is going on here? All right, it can't just be me. I always remembered the Kit Kat bars rapper having a dash in between Kit and Cat, but apparently it doesn't. Maybe I'm just going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs or something. Like, it always had a dash. Maybe I was just eating off-brand Kit Kats or something. But yeah, that about wraps it up for the Mandela effect. It's just a pretty weird thing, but it's kind of fun to look at. But yeah, anyways, like and subscribe for a free cookie. 100% factual.